feel like I match so much with my yellow shirt and the yellow lights and the walls looking like they're yellow, yellow, yellow. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of What Are You Posting? Today I'll be talking about your recent posts regarding Wimbledon 2012, the Amazing Spider-Man movie, some annoying chick from Instagram, and Daniel Tosh being on your Twitter feeds. But first, I'm going to talk about something that's been near and dear to me this entire week. Whale Trail! For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, Whale Trail is a free mobile app of awesomeness. It tells the charming story of this little whale who decides to drop acid and thinks he can fly and must destroy evil clouds by collecting rainbow bits. It's a very deep and moving storyline. So let's see what others have been posting about the game. You're following around these weird hippie guys and they throw up in your mouth and... Did you know that some cats like to scratch whale toys and play with whale catnip? Why are we making our cats hate whales? Okay, um, here's the game, and yeah, you can see frenzy mode, you freak out, and yeah, you can eat the clouds, and it's like your aggro mode, so go get them. I don't know who this app is actually targeted at. I don't know if it's for kids, I don't know if it's for stoners, I don't know if it's for people who just trip out a lot. It's something you can pick up and play when you're bored, or under the influence of, you know, acid or something. And you're a fucking whale, for Christ's sake. You're, you're a whale floating in the sky. And if the game itself isn't enough to get you hooked, then the music video and song definitely will. pretty challenging, can get pretty addictive, but best of all, it's free! So go download it now. It's pure visual happiness and it's safer than taking acid yourself. Moving on, Wimbledon 2012 was this Sunday. I don't really follow sports, so I decided to take to the internet to figure out who actually won and was even playing. Federer just won! Woo, buddy! Yeah, buddy! I'm gonna high-five your face. I missed. High-five your face. There you go, bro. I feel kinda bad. I tweeted just now, um... Something like, whoa, Roger, Roger Federer won, screw Andy Murray, I won Roger Federer to win Wimbledon, and, he, and Andy Murray's Scottish, he's not even English. Then there'll be loads of people tweeting me back saying, yeah, but Roger Federer's not English. I'm like, what's your point? You're like, well, you just said that, shut up, bro. Safe to say, I learned nothing. Except for the fact that Roger Federer won. Side note, Serena Williams won too, but I didn't really see any posts about it until I looked on the news. Which makes me really sad, and not just because I have a vagina. I just feel bad for the fact that people don't really take women's sports as serious as men's sports. It's frustrating to know that official game rules have been made a little bit easier, or made matches a little bit shorter, for women, instead of keeping the rules the same for both men and women in sporting events. But whatever, I'm totally over it. While we're on the subject of things that frustrate me, why are people making fun of Andy Murray for crying after losing his match? True champions cry after they win a title, not when they lose one and have never won one. Man up. Can't stand it when men cry. You're on TV, for God's sake. Play yourself together, hashtag Andy Murray. Okay, when I long, uh, blah, 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 Andy Murray. How could any of you possibly comprehend what a pro athlete goes through. Now, because it's summer, the media decides to unleash all the best movies at once, which causes me and everybody else to have to make the hard decision of going and doing something outside, maybe getting a little color, maybe getting a little exercise, socially interacting with people, or handing over $18 to sit in a dark room while stuffing my face with popcorn and large soft drinks. So for my birthday, I chose to do the latter. And I went and saw The Amazing Spider-Man in 3D. Before I say what I thought of the movie, let's see what you guys thought. You know why I chose to see The Amazing Spider-Man over Magic Mike? Emma Stone. And no, I'm not a lesbian, but I mean, I'm, I might be for her. Fun fact, Emma Stone has over 600,000 Twitter followers, but she hasn't made a single tweet. That's called being a boss. And clearly, some people can't stand her awesomeness. Uh, I'm gonna bash Emma Stone. Bashing Emma Stone. Uh, Emma Stone. Boo. <gasps> you shut your mouth. Or stop typing your fingers. Emma Stone is amazing, and anything said differently is blasphemy. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be telling you how I like the movie. Ah, it was amazing. It was the amazing Spider-Man. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Moving on, Daniel Tosh was trending on Twitter this week. At first I thought maybe he died, until people filled me in. Okay, so Daniel Tosh made a brief joke. Okay, not out of character for him. Alright, so that's what he said. It's not great, but... Uh, okay, well, what did you expect from Daniel Tosh? In short, I learned that Daniel Tosh made a rape joke. A woman in the crowd didn't like the rape joke, so she decided to say, Rape jokes are never funny. To which he replied, wouldn't it be hilarious if you got raped by five guys right now? I'm not defending Daniel Tosh, but first of all, what was this woman doing at a Daniel Tosh show? She should have known that something like this was probably going to be said. Either way, this has turned into such a big thing for no reason. Daniel Tosh is not the first and won't be the last comedian to offend somebody. But now I hear that there's this petition to try and take him off the air. Calm down, people. I mean, voice your opinion, but then move on. And lastly, I'm sorry to do this to all of you, but today's Tumblr tag is Official Sabrina. But first, I'm going to show you this girl Official Sabrina's Instagram page, just so you get a feel of why she made it onto Tumblr. Want it some more? Some more of what? You should ask me out because, well, you know, YOLO. Uh, it's something about smiling. In response to all these not so great picture and quote posts, Tumblr-ers have been posting all of this hate about her. Let me just say, definitely a reasonable amount of anger for something like this. Yeah, her photos are stupid. And yeah, she's kind of annoying. People telling her to go die and that they're gonna kill her? Once again, guys, chill out. Well, guys, we've come to the end of the show. Thanks so much for sticking around all the way through. As always, make sure to subscribe, comment, and check out all the links below. I'll definitely see you guys all next Friday, but maybe, maybe I'll post another video before then. That's just how wild and crazy I am.